Hi everybody, this is take two of my unboxing video for code word Cromwell, the German invasion of England, 8th of June 1940, by Fifth Column Games. Uh, not sure what happened with my first one, the audio was terrible, apologies for that. Uh, hopefully this one will be better. Uh, picked up this game earlier this week, uh, I thought I'd do a quick unboxing because they're are no videos on this game at all on Board Game Geek, uh, and it's a pretty expensive game to buy. So I thought it'd be quite nice to stick a quick unboxing together to show you what's in the box. Uh, because, like I said, it's not a cheap game, and it'd be quite nice to know what you're getting. So uh, let's crack it open and see what's inside. Okay. Well, first of all. We've got an intelligence briefing booklet, which is A5 size, uh, 71 pages, full colour. Um, there's a lot of text, it's mainly text, there's not a lot of illustrations in, in this, uh, and it's a lot of events listed. I think what you do is uh, the cards will guide you to this book. So you, you check the events for the cards that you draw in this book, I think. I haven't got the rules down properly yet, but I think that's what happens. Uh, some weapons and stuff in here. It's mainly text, it's not, like I say, not a lot of illustrations. Next of all, the rules. This is a four-sized. Again, full colour. And 27 pages. Um, again, not too many illustrations, and there's not too many sort of examples of play either, but it's just sort of walking you through. I don't think it's an overly complicated game from what I've read. Uh, count the descriptions of the counters. Um, this is available on Board Game Geek. There's a file on Board Game Geek. You can download this, so if you're thinking of picking it up, maybe worth just downloading the file and, and having a look. See what you think. There's a couple of player aids. Uh, again, A4 size. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. I don't know what the focus is like on this thing. I don't know if it's focusing particularly well. Uh, one's double sided and one's single sided. The board. There's two boards. Uh, they're both mounted. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll get those, lay those out in a second. Counter sheets. There are three counter sheets. And the counters are probably about an inch square. They're pretty good counters actually. I quite like them. They're probably about two or three mil thick. So they're quite good counters. Quite pleased with them. And I like the way they're done. They're sort of really nicely illustrated. So I'll uh, show you. See the characters, weapons. Yeah, probably around about 120 counters, I would think. I haven't counted exactly, but around that. There has been a, a couple of threads on Board Game Geek regarding um, some quality issues. Uh, with the counter sheets, uh, I think some people have had some problem. And looks like I have here. If you look, I don't know if you can if it's focused in very well. Here we go. There's some like discoloration on the counter sheet. It's only on one, and it's on the top one. So this is obviously where the board has been rubbing on the counters, uh, and it's the ink seems to have got onto the counters. I mean, it's only, I'm lucky really, it's just along the edge of mine here. There's a little tiny bit here on a couple of counters here, but I seem to have got away pretty lightly. I think some people have suffered quite badly with this and, and it's sort of ruined the counters. So it's just something you might want to be um, sort of aware of, that there might be a couple of issues. If, they, if they'd maybe put these in shrink, that you know, we wouldn't have the problem. The board itself looks okay. Some people have had issues with the board too, but my board looks okay. So, like I say, I probably got away quite lightly, really. Uh, there's some cards as well. Probably looks like around about 100 cards uh, in three decks. These are still in shrink. I haven't 
open these yet. I'll just crack these open. So, event cards, uh, tactical events, German strategy, British strategy. And they are pretty sparse. There's not an awful lot on the cards. And like I say, I think that's because you end up having to reference the um, the tactical briefing booklet for, for what the cards are doing. But they are quite nice cards. Some nice illustrations on them. They really, I really like these illustrations on these cards. And that's the cards. And some dice. Ten dice. Five blue and five red. So that's what you get. I'm going to lay the board out and uh, let you have a quick look at the board. Just get rid of this a sec. Say so there are two boards. You can join them together. Uh, they are pretty big when they join together. Okay, there's the board, and as you can see, it is a pretty big board. I've actually measured it, and uh, it's a it's 41 inches by 28 and a quarter, or if you want it in centimeters, it's 104 centimeters by 71 centimeters. So it is a pretty big board. And what I might do is just pop this camera off and see if I can uh, zoom in on a couple of the areas of the board so you can have a look. And say so some people have. Uh, I think I have a bit of an issue with, uh, with the board being a bit uh, sort of ruined by the rubbing on the counter sheet, but mine looks okay. Um, so we'll just move around the board so you can have a quick look at the uh, areas church, surgery lane, main road, the garage, hangman's lane, cemetery, orchard, cricket pitch, and the pavilion. Pub Lane and the pub. Pop in there, no doubt. Uh, North Stream, School Drive, the newspaper, the marshes, and in the centre you've got the church. And I think this is what you you're defending. You're defending the church. Um, I think it plays like a sort of a state of siege game where the German troops move in from the the edges of the board, and you have to defend the centre of the church. <clears throat> uh, over here we've got um, some tracks, the chaplain track, which is I think a sort of a a traitor or a sort of a spy that's in the village of Berkham Stokes where this is set. Um, not sure exactly how that works yet. Um, we've got a turn track, uh, which goes down to turn 16. And there's also a, an invasion track, which goes to turn 15. But it's a nice board. I like the board. I think the board looks really good. I'm really impressed. Everything looks good. The quality of the components look good. The only slight complaint is probably the uh, the slight bleeding onto the counters of the with the ink of the map. Um, like I said, it's nothing that I'm really going to make a fuss about. So, so that's it. That's code word Cromwell. Um, hope that's uh, giving you a little bit of an insight into what you get in the box. Uh, Thanks for watching, I hope it's been useful.